Hello everyone, I'm Dongyang, son of Winter. I have finished my Chinese version of the podcast on loving yourself. In Chinese, I call it Chong Ai Chu Fa Ai Zi Love Yourself. This is episode 4 of my Son of Winter podcast. Um, the radio version, which catered to my Mandarin speakers, will be in a podcast version. But for my English speaking speakers um, and audience, this is for you. I decided to do this English version to spread the good message to all of you. I will share a lot about myself, my journey about loving yourself, and the steps to take to become a person that loves yourself even more. I think healthy self-esteem is very important. If you can't love yourself, you can't love others. If you cannot accept yourself, you cannot accept others. So learn to accept yourself first. That is the first step. So I had a lot of experiences before in my journey on self-acceptance. Self-acceptance and selfless seems to be a very uh, easy to obtain. It seems to be easily obtained, but actually it's not. Loving yourself and accepting yourself is one of the toughest thing in life. Alright, so I was not born with perfections. I have a lot of things I'm very unhappy about myself since young. I always compare myself with other people, which is very wrong. Um, this could be due to the experience that I had since I was a child. I also um, had very low self-esteem on myself. I couldn't accept myself because from young, I was not born with a complete family. Um, my father left home ever since I was born. I do not have a dad in my life. I only have a mom and my grandparents to take care of me. I always wonder why my cousins and my friends had a complete family but not me. Is it something to do with me? So I start to have self-doubt and self-blame. I always feel that I'm not good enough. I always feel that I'm ugly, I'm full of flaws, I'm not smart enough, I'm not the top student in the class. I always feel very bad about myself. I don't love myself at all. I wish I'm better off dead. So it was not an easy journey for me in my growing up years. I struggled a lot with my self-identity and self-acceptance. So loving yourself seems to sound easy, but it's not easy at all. So things changed when I started to know my best friend, Le Fei. He taught me a lot of things about self-love. Because of him, I was encouraged to start doing YouTube channel. Before that, I was very reluctant to do it because I felt that I was not good looking compared to other YouTuber. I felt that I was not prepared. I could only dare to do podcasts because I, I feel that my voice is good. People will not be turned off, but I'm not confident about my looks, about my appearance. I feel that I'm ugly and full of flaws. But he told me, hey, beauty of flaws are all beauty. It's very subjective. If you think you're good, then you're good. You don't have to bother about what people say about you or think about you. It doesn't matter. I was too conscious of how people think of me, which is very wrong. So I will run through some simple steps on how to love yourself better. So the first step is to accept your pain and take responsibility for your feelings. Mm, be very mindful that all these feelings are real. You must learn to accept them as part of you. You cannot reject them saying, oh, I don't have this. That is very wrong. Learn to accept them and 
that is the first step if you don't accept then then we cannot proceed on to loving yourself so accept that these feelings are real that you are hurt you are traumatized you are affected accept it number two move into the intent to learn um commit to learn about these emotions what are the one that cause you the pain yeah so find out why and what are these things so maybe someone is telling you oh hey you have a tummy hey your complexion is bad but whatever people say right it doesn't affect you as much as what you think yourself right if you stand to the ground and think that this are part of me this is me I accept for who I am then that will be fine nobody will be able to hurt you more than you hurt yourself the person that hurt yourself the most is yourself right if you learn to accept all this as part of you people might see it as your flaws people might see it as your weakness but you accept that as part of you i think that's more important next step learn about your false belief is there any a uh, false belief that make you react in that manner that is causing you the painful feelings of anxiety depression guilt jealousy anger loneliness or even emptiness allow this answer to come from inside from your intuition and your feeling so let your feelings come up so after you accept this and knowledge them learn about them why are you feeling this way is it because of a past hurt you have or is it because you yourself in the beginning looked down upon yourself so when people used to say a lot of negative comments about me it hurts me but not because what they say affect me it hurts me because i agree what they say that's the most hurtful things so you have to understand why do you react it in that manner okay go to the deepest part of your heart to your soul have a dialogue with yourself which is the next step ask yourself what causes this pain what have you not accepted about yourself when you start to accept yourself you can start to love yourself take loving action all right now after you understand how this feelings come about you consolidate them put them together and throw them away so accept your feelings accept your hurt your disappointment your guilt whatever find out the reason dig that out it's going to be a very painful process yes because i need you to dig into your history everything from your childhood until now dig out everything and then let it go breathe in collect them and breathe out just like the wind all away let them go back let them leave you clear all this dirt away okay accept yourself now accept they are part of you the next thing is to start loving yourself how to love yourself accept who you are look at the mirror and tell yourself i am good looking i am good i am talented i am smart i am intelligent i have wisdom say all the positive affirmation words for yourself if you don't love yourself nobody else will love you love yourself first okay we are accountable to our soul so love yourself first and that's the most important step and next the process is ongoing it is not ended yet 
you still have to constantly evaluate your action and begin again so you may feel bliss for a moment and then someone else says something about you pull you down again then you stand up again accept what they say and move on just like recently um two of my friends one of them told me that uh chris it, is it okay not to do all those funny videos which is really very offensive okay at the start or in the past i were like but now i will brief in i accepted the comments and said i appreciate your feedback because you love me so you took the time to advise me all this other people will not even care but you care so i accept it but but i may not use your suggestion totally it's just your suggestion you have your right i have my right and it's my channel if i find that it's suitable then i will adapt it but i will not use it totally because i have my own way of doing things i have my reason you see it from a perspective i see it from my perspective we have different perspective i accept it and i hope my friend will continue to support me another friend of mine say oh why not you just do more science video the students need it a lot okay initially i did not react very well i said um the teachers in school did a better job at it but she said no da 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 da, da. you should do it because they are not teaching well but yeah so so after i talked to him i realized that oh he actually impressed with my summary sheet which is the first time i heard in my life so i was very shocked to to know that and i appreciate that so just to my fans out there i'm so sorry i could not accommodate to all what you want so it's like you go to a restaurant with a family of five some may prefer prawn some may prefer fish some may prefer meat or some just eat vegetarian so different people have different preference but for my channel i try to diversify according to my like and my interest of course if you do not like it then you can choose to unsubscribe it it doesn't matter at the end of the day i'm only trying to satisfy myself this is this youtube channel is just a mean for me to love myself more to keep it as a memory for me before i leave this world yeah so my time is running up i cannot say more details about that but um, before i leave this world i hope i can leave something before i go i hope this channel will bring people happiness joy peace love um um i hope i can spread positive message to people to encourage people who went through a lot like me so thank you for your support that's it for dong yang son of winter please continue to support me and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it thank you